What's going on everybody? Got another awesome tutorial for you guys. We're going to be looking at grooves in Ableton, which is going to let you add some like variation and groove to your different MIDI notes. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so if you don't know already, grooves can be located over here in this folder and this is going to pull up different grooves that you actually have in your library. Or you could just make your own from scratch. So actually, when you want to make a groove, you open up this groove pool down here, okay? And you'll see that I already have a couple that I like, but if you want to go and select one of them that's in this menu, you can just double click on it and it's going to add it to your groove pool for you. So technically you don't have to do any work because technically they're already there for you. So you could just go through these different ones and see which ones you like the most. But what does a groove actually do? It's going to add some variation to your hi-hats. It's going to make them play off the grid or randomize them a little bit so it sounds more humanistic instead of just straight to the line, straight on the grid. So it can be useful for all kinds of different genres all the time. So let's demonstrate this on a hi-hat. So I'm just going to take a hi-hat here and we're just going to do a basic two-step pattern, nothing crazy. So let's go ahead and play it. Okay, so it's exactly what you would expect. Now, this is only good for MIDI notes, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the MIDI note here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right here and we're going to select Groove right here. And then we can pick which one we want to do. So let's pick this new one that we just did. The rock slow and whatever the hell it was. So let's go back over here and now we can edit it in real time as it's affecting the MIDI. So don't forget that step because if you don't do it, it's not going to work. So that's how you select the groove and you can use different grooves on multiple MIDI notes or whatever that you're using in Ableton. And if you don't know how to set up a MIDI note and get your sample in there, go ahead and click on this link. It's a quick video on how to set up MIDI notes and go ahead and get your samples so you can lay them out on the grid keyboard like we have here. Okay, so now that we have it picked out, we went ahead and picked one out and then we put it on our MIDI. Now we can go ahead and play with some of these settings right here. So your bass right here is gonna be, how is this affecting the different notes? Is this affecting 16 notes, eight notes, or you know different variations of those? So you can play with your quantize setting and adjust the amount of quantization that you do. I don't really tend to use this one very much, you can go ahead and select the timing so it's going to adjust how this groove pattern will affect the clips and the timing that is associated with them. You also have randomization which is how much randomization is going to be added to the MIDI note and you have velocity so it's going to randomize the velocity as well. So let's just listen to it how it is right now. now let's go ahead and turn the velocity down. You can notice that it definitely got a lot lower in velocity because it's going to be setting it at a lower threshold. So you can play with the velocities like that. So let's go ahead and add some random in here, which is going to add more randomization. So how often is it going to be doing this? So let's turn this up. So this right here is the timing. And as you can see, since it's up 100%, when we add randomness to it, it's going to go up and down 100% worth. So as we're adding more to it, you can hear it's way off the grid or way on it. So if we went ahead and turned down the timing, you can hear it's really only playing with a little bit of the actual timing, but it's more or less going on the velocity. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Okay, so this quantization value right here is not actually going to change when we turn it up or down. Let's actually set everything back to zero here. So you'll notice that's not actually changing anything, but what it will do is when you go ahead and go to quantize, Quantize. When you go ahead and go to quantize your MIDI notes, it'll. This is how much will be applied to the randomization of that. So let's just turn it up to a value, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So usually when you're using quantization, it's because you played it on the keyboard, so it's going to be offset already. So let's just offset this. Let's pretend like we played it. Let's go ahead and offset it like maybe like right here. So we'll do something crazy. Maybe we'll move these ones a little bit. So normally when you do quantization, if I were to select everything, I pressed Command A or Control A on Windows. So now if you went to go ahead and quantize it, what you would press is Command U or Control U on Windows. And what it would do by default is it would go to the line previous to it. So everything would go to this line. 
this one would go here, this one would go here, and so forth. But now that we have the randomizing on it, what's going to happen is if we go ahead and select everything, pressing Command A or Control A on Windows, that's how you select all the MIDI. Now when we press it, it's going to randomize whether it goes forward or backwards on the quantization. So now you can see some things went backwards and some things went forward. So that's how you can randomize that. So let's go ahead and just add a couple of these different clips that are in the preset browser just so we can see what they sound like and how they're different. So we'll just go ahead and click on this one, which is called Swing 30 Seconds. Maybe we'll do a, let's do a Pumps, Pump 6, and then maybe we'll do this Wobble one as well. So let's go in here now to our MIDI note. We went ahead and set it back to normal. And then we'll just go through these different ones that we just set up. So this is the Swing 30 Seconds. This is the pump, and this is the wobble. So you can see each one of those gave it a different feel, a different rhythm, a different groove, and that's exactly what grooves do for you in Ableton. All right, guys, I hope you liked that one. That was just a quick little introduction to grooves in Ableton that you can start using on your MIDI tracks to give them more variation randomly and automatically for you, so you don't have to really do anything with it. Pretty neat, pretty awesome. Make sure to smash a like on this video if you like this one. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are doing daily uploads again. Yeah, we're really back at it. And you're not going to want to miss out on all this value that's coming your way. Besides that, guys, I'll be catching you all again in the next one. Peace out.